Nope. Not that one. Back up. But uh, yeah, not only did I did do some um, awesome photography, I did some videography with this mannequin as well. And man, let me tell you, it's just like some of this stuff looks so real. Like you wouldn't even think it was a mannequin. That's first and foremost. Like the shots are absolutely stunning. I was surprised myself. I'm not even going to lie, guys. But let's pull up a let's pull up an image for you guys. So. You know, we can show you this workflow of mine. Once again, nothing crazy. It's just that I spend time to really bring it to life. That's all, guys. Uh, let's see. Um, let's take... Um, Okay. Let's take this for for an example. All right. The settings are already plugged in because I pre uh, edited this, but uh, I will pretty much go to my presets. And as you can see, I have mannequin selected. I just click uh, mannequin, and all of my settings that I did for the other images will be applied to this one. So let's open an image, right? We'll start fresh. We'll start fresh for you guys. Not a problem. Uh, I have my frequency separation workflow saved as an action. So all I do is click this button. Boom, it's done. Okay, let's click open this folder to see what's in there. Uh, it says LPPFS. That stands for Lorenzo P Photography Frequency Separation. Let's open up that box. Let's just scroll through. So we have a low layer, which are the skin tones. We have a high layer, which are the texture, the skin texture, right? And we have another high layer, which actually is a shopping layer. So I'm going to just plug this in as a shopping layer. And all this is, is the high frequency layer double so just hit command J boom it's at a hundred percent I normally I ideally like to bring it down to about 13 percent give me enough shopping but because I already have this layer we can just dump this okay but I just wanted to show you guys so boom we'll dump that we'll go back to the shopping layer highlight that let's bring it back down to 13 percent boom that's ideally how I like to shop in my images we have a dodge layer uh, we have a burn layer and we have a dodge layer. Okay, that's for my dodge and burn. And then we have a brightness and contrast. Uh, like I said, it's really easy. Not not much. This is pretty much my workflow, guys. So we do a low frequency, high frequency, high frequency doubled, which is Command J um, on a Mac. And I just labeled it Sharpen. I bring it down to 13%. Okay, as you can see, label it Sharpen. Then I do my uh, burn and dodge or dodge and burn layer. And I do my contrast layer. And that's pretty much it. That's that's my workflow, guys. But uh, let's dig in, okay? So we go to the high frequency to uh, clean up the blemishes. So let's go to Z. We're going to zoom in. That's a blemish I'll clean up. We go S for the clone stamp tool and boom let's get busy i'm gonna do this really quick uh, i'm sorry let's change the blend mode to normal let's bring this up to 100 percent and i generally generally like to change my flow uh to about 70 to 90 percent let's do 80 somewhere in between okay and just look at that boom just cleaning it up guys all right and i'll go really fast be just for video purposes i normally would dig in the photo like really dive in but because i'm just doing a quick tutorial for you guys i'm not going to spend a lot of time but uh you know i'll just clean up some of the blemishes and this is how we'll work on you know a regular human being a no uh, this is how we'll work on a regular subject or regular model talent or whatever you want to refer to it as this is 
the workflow that I would do I would use so yeah we clean that up all right just cleaning up some of those blemishes all right trying to work fast guys trying to work fast okay so I would generally or typically fix something like this but because of the video I'm not gonna dive too deep makes no sense but I just want you guys to get an idea of you know uh, the workflow so all right boom so like I said I would pretty much heal or clone out the areas that I don't want all right clone those out smooth it out a bit okay And when I feel comfortable with the results that I have, I'll go in to really smooth out the skin. And you do that by just switching down to your low layer and changing the um, the clone stamp tool to lighten. And when you do that, I'll show you how to do it in a few minutes, guys. Okay, so I'm just cleaning up this, all right? Boom, let's just say that it, this is cleaned up. Okay, image is fully done, even though it's not. But just look at that. That that looks amazing. So look, okay, let's go down to our low frequency. And we pretty much, let's go to the clone stamp. We'll change the blend mode to lighten. And we'll bring the opacity down to about 20%. 20 I typically uh, go to 20 or 30% depending on the subject. So let's just dial that in. Okay, 20%. Oh, oh my goodness, 210 percent. Goodness. Okay, we go 10 percent for the flow. Okay, and this would generally give you like nice smooth transitions between the lights and darks, and that's what you really want. You don't want nothing to be too dramatic. Um, you know, you want the transitions to be nice, smooth, gradual, and you want them to look good. You know, because that's ultimately what the goal is of doing frequency separation. Uh, one is to remove the blemishes in a non-destructive way and then, you know, blend the skin tones in a non-destructive way. And this way, you can really bring out the beauty and the work. So as you can see, guys, look at that. It's, it's looking crazy already. And I really didn't do anything. This is just me just, you know, fiddling around, you know, with the workflow. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's go back here and we just clean that up and we try to make the transitions as smooth as possible, All right? And guys, trust me, you don't want to you don't want to overdo it because when you overdo it, it just starts to look really crazy. It looks cartoonish and unrealistic and you really want to preserve the artistic integrity in your work and this is why i like to keep my blend mode and my flow so low when i'm um using when i'm editing on the uh, low layer okay just look at that oh my goodness don't forget guys this is a mannequin she looks so good though i know i sound like a creep excuse me guys all right so look look at that nice smooth transitions okay i can't get any smoother than this guys well i can but i don't want to okay so look look at that all right now after this is done to my liking which it, it almost is <laughs> i would go to my dodge and burn and let's switch over to that right now Okay. On a count of one, two, three, boom. All right. Now we are on the dodge and burn layers. This is the burn and that's the dodge. I'll flip it. Okay. Dodge, burn, boom. Okay. Now I will go to my brush tool and I would generally raise the opacity to 100% and bring my flow all the way down to about 1%. And let's change, make sure that uh, our palette is selected as white. Okay, so boom, look at that. Okay, 
that may be a little bit too bright for my taste. So let's bring it down to about 69, 70%. Look at that nice clean highlight. Boom, that's there. All right. Now this is where I will really bring out the the work, you know, this is where the highlights really come into play because you can really shape and, you know, bring definition to things that really don't have definition or if they do, you can just refine it. And that's what I like to do with the dodge and burn. So I'm pretty much just refining what's already there. And that's what I do in my work. You know, there's a bit of like I said, I really don't like to exaggerate only because it takes away uh, from the artistic integrity. But, you know, sometimes exaggeration is good, especially if you're an, you are an artist. Some things you like to exaggerate. You want to push the boundaries. And that's what I like to do. But uh, just look how subtle and beautiful this is highlighting my subject. Look at that. That is just absolutely incredible. And if it's too light for your liking, guess what? All right? Which this maybe, 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 maybe you can always lower the opacity of the actual layer. So boom, let's just chop that down just a little bit. Let's chop it down to about 50%. Let's go to the burn. Now, just want to by pressing X, we just want to make sure that our brush is switched to the black, and this is just to burn. So, look, that is super, super, super sexy. All right, so we're just burning in some of the areas where we want to put that shadow back. Look, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, I I get lost in my lights and darks, guys. Please excuse me. I know I sound like a creep once again, but I'm not a creep. You can go, like, search me and you'll see I'm not a creep. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, this is pretty much my, my workflow. You know, like I said, it's not nothing too crazy. I like to keep it simple, you know, simple but pushy, you know, um, and... This is how I edit my work. So, and if I wanted to finish it out, let's go back to the Dodge. I see something that I want to nitpick with. Uh, make sure that brush is selected to the white. Now that it is, we can just highlight under that chin. Let's bring out just that that little crevice. So, yeah, I mean, you can zoom in. I mean, if you really want to get in depth with this, you really can. And uh, that's what I generally do. But for video purposes, I don't need to go. I don't need to go too crazy. Sorry. I was actually using the wrong brush, guys. But, uh, yeah, so let's just lighten that up. All right. Let's go here. Ah, there we go. That's what we want. That's too much stuff. But yeah, so you get my drift. Creating those highlights. All right. She looks so gorgeous. All right. Now let's go back to the burn. Oh, you know what? Let's stay on the dodge. All right. What the hell happened there? Uh -huh. Okay. And let's just, let's just highlight some of this. This is what I would generally do if I was like working. You know, I'll go in, I'll tap up some of those areas. And this is what brings the work alive. Like, you know, it's the subtle little details that really gives the work the life that it needs. And those are the things that I focus on, guys. The subtleties. But uh, if you wanted to know how I edit, this is it. I mean, like I said, it's nothing crazy. It's simple, as you can see. It's just a matter of steps, 
caution to take, you know, when, when editing, make sure you don't overdo it because when you overdo it, you kill an image and you really don't want to kill your images. You want to bring them to life. So, you know, take your time and, you know, do it the right way the first time. And when you do that, that's way too dark. When you do that, you can really see the beauty in, in your work. Okay. This is your boy LP closing out. Be sure to check out the mannequin tutorial. I think you guys are going to like it. It's going to be just super awesome. Um, you know, I just was having fun and I wanted to share that journey with you guys. Okay. Um, it's always love guys. Thank you for the support. Lorenzo P photography with Lorenzo P photography.com. Holla at your boy. Peace.